Right, hello my fellow spuds and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. So it's only been about a day since last time, but we had our old friend uh, Jane, who's the dirt mole, who stayed with us for a few days, come and visit with her friends. That's very nice. We've also got a raid, which is kind of annoying. They've got tinder skin. Yeah, burns very, very easily. So we got Len just to come down here. Eye blast? Uh, there. Yeah, you just like wiped them out. Explosion is much bigger. They begin their assault, but they're all on fire. All right, just get back. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, get back up here, and then you should be able to take care of those, but those ones should all burn. Yeah, they're fleeing already. Good. We should be able to save a couple of them. Oh no, my meats! Uh, someone water. There we go, we're fine, we're fine. And Len explosion. Just there will do. There we go. Okay, now go back in. There's only a few of them. You should be able to do it in like one, one eye blast. Mana shock. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, um, King, go rescue. Tall man, Paul. Uh, we need more of these. The, the realization while I'm capturing them, even though if they're unwavingly loyal, is because our sweet baby, Glover. Why are you in that bed? There we go. Thank you. Uh, you are very, very hungry, and apparently we're out of milk, which is a bit of a concern because that's the only food you can actually eat. I'm hoping, though, insect jelly, which these naturally produce over time, it will be able to consume. That's the idea. So we need to get more prisoner beds, basically, so that we can get enough insect jelly to feed our sweet little baby. <laughs> it's just very, very weird. So today we're just going to keep exploring we're going to try and find a way to actually help azelle out it's been too long she's been stuck like this for too long although now she is happy and i think marginally smaller maybe she's still got the devour head she's still very unattractive we need to sort that out so we might need to go like up to the toll treaty and maybe up to here here uh, there there and back again which is going to be very very expensive in terms of coal luckily we still got a bit more so we'll mine as much as we can send someone on their way to go find anything if we can't find it i will have to go to uh phase two which i don't want to do and brent doesn't want to do but if it comes to it it comes to it pull that please we need that to feed the baby uh, can we feed the baby with it is the good question because if we can't we can slaughter is on it okay i'm sorry but um uh, you're all going to be used for insect jelly although some of you aren't that bad like you you're good at you're good at mining and also melee. Uh, any of you? Melee and archery, that's not bad. Okay, we're going to send some of them on our merry way then. And um, we're going to send them to be converted, recruited. And they can act as a... Maybe a little, like, help squad. If we get stuck or something or we get invaded, they can help us out. Brewing! We finally did it. Well, so we've got intermediate cooking, rugs, devil shop. We don't know any of that. Earth writings. Oh! We can make tablet and stone shelves so we can actually start doing some writings, teachings of Ulu. Well, I was hoping to get that like the first couple of episodes, but <laughs> we're half, like, halfway through the series. We could still get that, but tailoring is probably more useful. No earth writing, screw it, it's only 50 research. Oh god, Barra. Okay, we've got loads of granite blocks from Barra, excellent. That should mean that we can build our furnace and our grinding wheel at long last so that we can actually finally set up this forge. That's very nice. Oh god more packing survival <laughs> oh this is getting a bit insane isn't it yeah it's getting a bit insane oh there's a ring what's what's this unfertilized egg enchanted ring is that from tall man no what why are these on the floor what you do what did you do whose was this i think a couple of people are leveled up yeah missy has leveled up berserk pulse would be quite good especially in, like people like that I think, 
yeah, that one. Berserk Pulse would be really good to have. Uh, who else? I think Len went up. Yeah, Len. Uh, upgrade. Okay, right. So we just need 152 more coal chunks. We can head off. Okay, right. So Slaughter, you get on. Slaughter then. Launch to that one first. Kinsho Kamisa are leaving. They're absolutely amazed with us. Stay. Thank you. And we have a furnace. We can actually refine stuff. We can make charcoal from wood. I wonder if we can then use that in the ship. Okay, what do we have? Frostbite, Resistance, and Snowmaker. That sounds quite good, but it's not what we're really after. Anything else? No. Uh, refuel and launch over here. Right, here we go. We're at the next place. Uh, decreased command range. No, Serene Orb. Ooh, fossils. Okay, we could do something with them. Uh, they're worth quite a lot of money, though. I don't really want to spend that kind of money when I don't need to. We can smelt gold into its equivalent component. Uh, do the same with the iron. Do the same with silver. Lovely stuff. Oh, we can make chem fuel from hard scales. That's quite cool. Oh, we got earth writing. Nice. And we can get tailoring again. Let's re-roll. Just want to see if there's anything else. That's what I wanted. Right, this is the only real turrets we can have in the game. They're like magical turrets made through gemstones. We want them. Slaughter's here. Right. Uh, they don't have anything either. You've got milk, though. Feed the baby. Mm. Okay, refuel. We've still got another 329. If I launch over there, it's 117. I reckon we can go to there. Trade with them. Okay, well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the next jelly delivery. And then I think most of these people are going to go off to uh, be converted recruiter, then turned into some sort of military settlement. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Okay, next one, next one, next one. We've got some basic components. I'll buy 40 of them. That seems like a good idea. You don't have much else, really. Um, fine. Get that. Oh, okay, a Lindworm's wandered in. That's not great. Uh, we'll do that. <laughs> uh, but we've also got Brent has a magical attunement. Lovely. It might be good to get some shields, actually. We could get overshield. Yeah, yeah, let's go for that. So we'll start to start with pain block, but that, that's fine. We've got a few levels and stabilize could be incredibly useful because that's been a few times people have nearly bled out. Here we go. There's nothing. It, uh, there's some spells. Close wounds. Forcibly move excess blood to stop any ongoing bleeding. However, it does not actually heal. Right. Extinguish flames. Pyromancer. I didn't know Lend could do that. Oh, I need to find that. Up its swarm. Ooh. Not really anything else, unfortunately. Right, annoyingly, I've already realized we've already been to this one, which is a shame. No, I mean, this is the most we've seen out of uh, any of them. But still, there's nothing really that we, we need. Okay, just go back. This is annoying, but it's just not working. And they have Cyclops nearby. Wonderful. Okay, the plan didn't work. Unless we searched around these ones, maybe a couple of the other magical academies we haven't seen. Chances are... We're just not going to find the gene packs. So we either need to find a random visitor who happens to have one, or we make some other drastic choices. So I have added a, another mod to the mod pack, which is the Medieval Gene Assembler mod. So this mod allows medieval tech societies to extract genes and assemble them using dark magic, which exchanges a gene in the form of a soul stone for a part of your body. This could be anything from a finger to an organ to your arm, any part of the body at random. Now, the idea is that if we can do the research to unlock these secret, very, very dark uh, mysticisms, we might be able to get Azel to be a relatively normal colonist. The, the payoff is quite extreme. Or we can go another way, and we can extract a gene from someone who has an ascension trait. Now, we already have one, TK, who can go into being an orc. And we could technically just make Izel into an orc, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. A step up, I think, from being a glutton anyway. But I think this would be really, really interesting to try out. Izel is the wrong person to get into a fight with, my friend. You've only just got up from an infection. You're going to lose a limb. Just drop, just drop before you die. Although you're giving a Zell run for our money. There we go. Uh, you were lucky not to lose anything. <laughs> I 
on that note, I think it's worth taking the people who we can recruit, so just not Gracie. So everyone but Gracie, Reform Caravan, we're going to take you to the prison. And who's going to take you there? I feel like it probably should be Azel as the strongest one, but there's something about King in a dinosaur suit leading a load of prisoners <laughs> to the prison is just the best image. So yeah, you're going to take all that. There we go. Take those prisoners and uh, they can they can go. We don't really have any real use for you anymore, do we? I guess uh, we'll just release you. Oh, relations with House Oswin have warmed. They now consider you neutral and no longer attack you. That's bizarre. All right, fair enough. Toolman's got another level. Word of serenity. Soothe the roaring emotions of a person on a mental break. After everything with lats, I think that would be useful. <gasps> Hello. Growth moment for Glover. Glover became a child. Yes, obviously remain a subject. Hello, Glover. You're already like the size of an adult. Come on, let's get Brent next to you. Y you're already giant. Okay, well, w welcome anyway. Do we actually have any child's clothes? A little bit worried we don't. We, we must have something for children. Kids tribal wear, that'll do. There we go. You're wearing some, like, some rags and a toque. You're, you're fine. You'll be warm enough. Uh, will you be warm enough? Minus five. Uh, uh, arguable. <laughs> oh, we got Wugger. Welcome. Um, Wuggers, Wuggers, Wuggers. Uh, remove pawn Wuggers. What were you good for? You were intellectual, weren't you? Go to the intellectual settlement then, please. Thank you very much. In terms of these, are they worth the rewards? Uh, tornado spell. 3.4 days. I reckon we should do it. Let's load some pawns up. Will you jump on? Let's go take on these first. Yeah, sure. We'll take on them, then we'll take on the Cyclops. We're just really waiting on the next quest from Ulu to appear, which is it's taking a little while, isn't it? Oh, there's a nice spot up here to land. How many do we have? Three Fledders. They look quite terrifying, don't they? It's your birthday today. Happy birthday, Fledder. I'm afraid you're going to die now. Get your bows at the ready. Eye blast. Good, just about. Stun. And, um, how long till they're dead? I am a bit concerned because it did say, didn't it, that a bite from them is deadly? Skylar, I shot that one. It's still not bleeding out. That's terrifying. Uh, Len has already basically gone over her load limit. Wonderful. Tall man, word of, word of joy. <laughs> Make them happy. 17 hours. We need to keep stunning them. Uh, right, you. I spiked that one. They are not going down. Can we get step back a bit? Arcane explosion. Where's the other one? Arcane ex we'll, we'll wait. Arcane explosion for a second. One's down. One's down. Arcane explosion there. There we go. Okay, that's what we want. Now, berserk that one. So, are you going to attack the other one? Can't tell. Extinguishing fire. Oh, there's extinguishing fires. No. Good. Uh, let's take a step back, please. Take a step back. Eye blast, please. I know you've exceeded arcane load. Calm down. Uh, get back as well. I spiked that one. 12 hours. The oh, both of them are dead. Okay, it's wandering. It's wandering. It's wandering. It's fine. It's down. It's good. We're good. Okay, wonderful. Uh, back on board. And let's go take on this Cyclops then. Right, uh, so a Cyclops is a little bit different than the other ones. I think this is probably marginally easier. Is it, it's just the one, isn't it? Yeah, it's just the one. Okay, uh, move up here, move up here. It's coming, it's coming. Oh God, you fought that way. You two that way. Okay, we need to get closer, we need to get closer. Um, Missy, you go that way. You three flank him. Stun first. There we go. Right. Now you two move down. Quick. Uh, Skylar can then do Ice Spike on him. There you go. Uh, that did... <laughs> it's got a thousand hit points. We did, uh, what, 22. Can you level up? You can. Snap freeze him. Missy, I want you to get closer. Stun him again. I can't remember how long Snap Freeze lasts. I need to do it again. Double check. Sky's in mana shock. Still, that should be enough. 
Hypothera is serious. Okay, it's now stopped. No, I thought that would be enough. Uh, okay, it's dead. It was just the build-up of so much damage. Cool. Payments arrived. What do we get? Can't remember. Arcanium. That's all we got. Fine. Good. That was fairly straightforward. Oh, hang on. The quest has ended. Hey, brilliant. So, get like a rustic door there. Uh, we will reinstall that one there. We can't build a relicry. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to have to wait till we get the research for that, I guess. How do we do that? I don't know. Figure it out. Uh, but anyway, we can now actually put our museum together. Hooray! We'll get this installed where it was before. There was a paleontology workbench, which might be quite good just to have, like, there. We should also have a golden chalice and our bowls and things. They should be able to be displayed now. Silver bowls. Here we go. Look. There. Got silver chalice. Got ancient gold chalice, which can go over there. This is coming along. So we got our little bowls. Let's adjust them a bit so they're a bit more center. There we go. The start of our museum. So does this count as a museum? No, it counts as a dining room. I think it will eventually count as a museum once we've got a few more bits in. But that's very cool. I like that already. Ah, finally, we've got arcane defenses. Uh, what can we get? Alchemy, soul alchemy. Soul alchemy, soul altar, transmutation. That's how we do it. We need soul alchemy. Okay. I guess we're going into alchemy then. Living shield. We could get artful display and then we can display stuff. Oh, this is hard. Or we can make troll's blood. Oh, that's also really useful. No, alchemy, alchemy. We need alchemy. Okay. Glover. The problem with Glover is that he's not learning. We don't have a blackboard. We don't have any way to actually teach them here. And unlike when we're on caravans and they can go explore the world, this is kind of all built up. I'm not sure how much we can really teach them unless he decides to learn with other people. And even then, it doesn't look like that's really happening. I don't know why no one's teaching him, but he seems to be struggling a bit with his learning. I'm thinking what we're going to have to do is probably set up an education outpost again. Probably here. Ezel, we will take Glover. Toolman can go and help. Police can go and help. Slaughter. We will take Lats as well for the time being. Madam can go. Soda can go. And then if we do that, we can just take all of the animals with us. You're all there? Good. Create an outpost. Uh, education center. There. Education. That's actually quite good. 92 efficiency is, I think, the best we've ever had. Hopefully, you will actually turn out to be a decent colonist. Um, we've had a bunch of chickens join. Okay, Missy, you rope some of them. Good. They can just live out here in the wild, and then we can just get eggs whenever we want. And if we get starving, we can just eat them. Secret admirer. In the day-to-day -day life of the colony, Green Missy Gatankan has begun to suspect that King of Thorns might harbour secret feelings for her. The suspicion arises from a series of nuanced interactions, perhaps unintentional hints that King has dropped. Stirring a mixture of emotions in Missy from flattered curiosity to cautious hesitation. She is at a crossroads. Be brave. Go on. Driven by curiosity and the allure of the hidden connection, Missy takes a proactive step to uncover the secrets of her hidden admirer. I just love that he's dressed up like this, trying to, trying to attract Missy. <gasps> New lovers? Oh, that's nice. She's not even 17 yet, but uh, uh, okay. I guess you're 19. It, it's fine. It's fine. Cool. Well, um, they're, they're, they're happy together. That's nice. I'm glad because I was worried that something might happen and Missy might end up falling in love with Brent or something. And that would have been a disaster. But Missy and King, that's, that's nice. That's like a nice little love story. The, the, the boy in the in the dino suit <laughs> trying to attract the master arcane mage. It, it's sweet. Oh, you really like each other. Love her. Deep talk, chit chat. And then uh, you really like her because physically appearing. Yeah, fine. Okay, that's nice. And we get a royal tribute collector. Welcome. Trade with them. 14 arcanium. It's enough for three more honor. Thank you very much. There we go. We did it. Boom. Now we get carpet making. <laughs> Uh, Elixir, Artful Display, Reroll, Arcane Lighting. That's why I wanted and it said that the Glowstone Lamp wasn't researchable. It's annoying. Uh, complex Clothing is probably a good thing to go for, to be honest. Uh, we'll go for the clothing. Screw it. We've already got most of it, so it should be fairly quick to research. We've got a raid. How many? Niflheim, only five. None of them are particularly useful. Okay, Missy? Skylar. 
Uh, Len also come here. And what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Len, you come out here first. Uh, I explosion. Boom. Explosion. No, like there. Boom. Now go away. You're done. Missy, get out here. We then want you to do... Like a shock. Boom. Uh, psychic shock. Boom. Um, arcane explosion. Oh, we can't. <laughs> um, you. Chaotic teleport. Where's he gone? Oh, no, he's gone over there. Um, Issy, get over here as well. You. Uh, 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 uh. Psychic shock on that one. Is it exceeded normal load? Oh, that one's down anyway. Oh. Okay. They're still coming. There's only two of them, though. Psychic shock. That one went... Did you just kill one? I think he actually killed it. Nice. Well done. Okay, good good work. Mainly, mainly Missy, but kind of the others as well. Good job, King, hanging back there. This poor man, literally called Man, has been lying here, burning slowly over time, whilst also hypothermic. <laughs> oh, what a weird state to be in, where you're constantly on fire and also um and also shivering. Put him out his misery, for God's sake, Skylar. That's that done. Right, so I'm converting most of the paths into these granite flagstones, because I think they look a lot nicer. So we'll have a proper nice little square eventually. Oh, that's lovely. Enjoying musical performance. King is playing a musical performance for Missy. This is so nice. Look at this. King strummed a romantic ballad for Missy. How nice. Oh, they're really happy with each other. They had a romantic kiss. Oh, this is nice. Ah, book goods traded from the people of Trado. Hello, hello, hello. Go trade with them. Uh, people of Trado. These are the, these. Are, this is the thing I mean. So like. They are a goblin. They've got strong construction and strong crafting. However, when they go to be a uh, a vrog, yeah, they they lose that. And then I think when they get to be whatever is next, uh, like an orc, they lose that again. So it's like it's it's cool. I don't know, but it's quite interesting. Bulk of trade. You still you got nothing. What do you mean bulk goods? We've got fifty four anima grass. Uh, I'm gonna get Len to just do a load of these rituals. She has been incredibly useful. Um, okay, for herself, nice. She's been incredibly useful for like all the raids that have happened so far. So I think having her um, leveled up would be amazing. So really, Fire Shield and Extinguish Flames are on the cards. So if we can get both of them for her, that'd be amazing. Okay, we've got stews. Uh, what do we want now? Not that. Uh, that's what, oh no. No, it's the two things. Arcane temperature regulation is what I've been wanting for ages. We can get like uh, hot, it's basically like heaters and coolers. Um, but soul alchemy means that we can do everything. No, we need that. We need it. Okay, right. Len's got that. Do it again. How much grass did we lose? We still got probably, we'll probably still have enough to do like another two. Because it's meant to use 20, but if it's a good ritual, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, there we go. And one more. So what we'll do is we'll go uh, fire shield. Extinguish flames. Next one will go into upgrading. Upgrade. Nice. Now, Len is on what skill? Level 13. Missy is on level... She's actually above Missy now. Okay, that's crazy. So you're actually more of a master mage than Missy is. We can do it. Prototype the soul altar and transmutation circle. Where do we do that? Like in here, maybe? Uh, what would it be under Misk? Bio biotech. Do it there. We'll mine these bits out. It's like our little secret room underground. Uh, soul altar. What does this do? Circle for soul transmutation. I've got, I've got no idea. Um, we'll build one there. Right. Oh, God. Uh, gift from Roller Nation. Hard dragon scale long axe. Very nice. Nine bones. And we got a scroll. <laughs> God, this takes 7,500 work. Ooh, and that one takes 1,200. Oh, God. That was like, I think, 2,000 something. Okay, it's better to be worth it. We've got a... What do you mean that we've got a penguin self-tamed? Why do we have penguins here? <laughs> um, 
Oh, okay. We've got penguins. We've got a penguin. It's laying an egg in whenever. No, we're not having penguins. Just, no. <laughs> Go away. Oh. No, we're not having penguins. Hang on. Fertilized eggs? Chicken fertilized. Oh, no. I'm going to get a ton of chicken soon. I think that's all we can do, apart from building this. That's all we can do. So, you know what? I'm going to cancel that. 223. Yeah, okay. Uh, it takes 200. So, we're going to wait until this is actually researched, and then we're just going to build it ourselves. Because the research t uh, team can do some research for us over the next few days. And then we'll make it properly. Um, what? I'm so, so, what? No. No. Just, no. We're not having loads of chicks. It's winter. Why aren't they... Why aren't they freezing outside? Just someone. Can you slaughter these, please? <laughs> A large meteorite has struck the ground. Are you kidding me? It just destroyed my flying machine. That was so expensive. 500. We only got 300 cloth from it. Oh, that is... Mm, that's not on. <laughs> that's not on. Oh, screw you, game. That's such bad luck. Right in the center of it as well. It wasn't even like a little bit off. It was right dead center of that airship. Oh, well, it's going to take a little while before we can get that up and running again. We're going to need more cloth. My poor floor was destroyed. Fine, just fix up the floor. Okay, we've got an exotic goods trader. With um, a relationship. Aunt of Brent. Really? You're Aunt of Brent, are you? Um, fine. Well, what have you got for me? Dragon's blood mine. What the heck is this? Oh, they're jeans. Dragon blood resistant. Quick study. Dwarven grit. Magically dull. Plated head bone. Kitsune tails. No, I'm, I'm good. Thank you, though. But no. I'll well sell all these hides that we've got. You're not selling these chickens. I'm sick of them. I don't want the chickens. They're a pain. Um, yeah, go away, boom rat as well. Don't want you. Good. Right, take take that and go, please. All right, Missy's gained magical attunement. Um, I think maybe we just go for burden. That seems like a good one. Yeah, just do burden. See, it's a standard one. It's not amazing, but it should help in combat significantly. Okay, Skylar's got magical attunement level. I reckon ice block. And we're basically, we need to get him up this path now. Once he's... I think probably from now on, we'll just upgrade him normally. Oh, <gasps> we did it. Oh, okay, let's re-roll. There we go. Archite Soul Alchemy. That would be amazing. Uh, we can actually make medicine. Ooh. Um, let's do... Uh, let's do that. Sure. Because uh, realistically, to get that... It's how much? 1500. 1500 research. We get it just from those two items, which we're going to make anyway. Cool. So, biotech then. Let's make that there. I guess we'll make like four around it. This looks a little bit uh, suspect, but I'm sure it was fine. Yeah, only 2500 work for this. That's a bit more realistic, I think. <laughs> Right, so Brenton has built one granite soul altar. We can store eight soul stones in it. Right, okay, so I'm, has this just completely overridden gene packs into soul stones? I don't know if it has or not. It probably has. I don't mind it having soul stones instead. If that's the way it's going to work, that's the way it's going to work. No, no more. You did it again. Why do you hate my landing spot? Oh, look at that. The Red Nata Bruno settlers from Great Inlet have successfully founded Grey Combaro. Look at that. This is the first one that's actually happened. They finally expanded the settlement over there. Cool. Uh, what's going on? A raid. Oh, it's in one of our outposts. Can you go in? Just It's just one person. An ogre frame regeneration cannot wear clothes. Lil Glutton Ascension. Ra random custom egg layer. Carries this gene reproduced asexually by laying eggs that hatch a pawn that is specifically a random custom xenotype. It can only do this once a year. That is so weird. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Look at this. I love this so much. This is just... I haven't built this. This is just standard in the pack. This is amazing. Uh, you. 
You've got a little beak. Oh, you little weirdo. Uh, what's in here then? Okay, so beds. Uh, there's granite ovens. This is amazing. I love this. Okay. Um, the problem is I don't think really any of our people have weapons. Uh, well, Flossie does. Flossie has a mallet. This person is ginormous. I mean, they're not meant to be able to wear anything, but apparently they... Oh, no, they're naked. They are naked. If we all just ganged up on it, might be able to take it out. Incoming damage multiplier times 80%. It probably hits a lot harder as well. Flossy, I'm going to get you to drop that. Who has the best melee? Well, you're a sword. You'll be good anyway. Uh, Margo. Equip mallet. Where are you going? You're attacking a wooden wall. Okay, get up here. Get up here. Okay, here we go. So, uh, gonna come out. You go for it. You go for it. Then, once that's done... Oh, God, it's running around like a lunatic. What's it doing? Are they attacking? No! Um, just all punch it, please. Flossy, stay there, because if you get hit, you're gonna die. They've decided to kid to just deal what they can and leave. Uh, it's shattered. Oh, God, it's... Yeah, come on, just take it out. It hits hard. It hits very hard. Severe pain, though. Extreme pain. It's going to drop. There we go. We won. Good. <laughs> that was that was intense. Okay. Right, Brent's on it. Good. Go on, Brent. Okay. It's done. We can insert a person. Oh, look at this. Insert a person into the gene extractor. Their genetic material will be extracted and used to create a gene pack containing a random selection of their genes. Gene extraction is painful and will leave the subject weak and drowsy for a number of days. This process is lethal for those whose genes are currently regrowing. Okay. I reckon we should try this then. Let's get T-Chaos. T-Chaos, come here. Been a while since we've seen you. You're going to come and we're going to just chuck you, uh, chuck you in here. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We only need the one gene. Don't worry. Right, we've got T-Chaos here. Uh, welcome, T-Chaos. Enter this, please. This uh, this all seems very suspect, doesn't it? Uh, Brent, you're going to come here and and make sure everything's above board. You uh, Do you actually have... No, you don't have it. You can ascend others. You don't have it because you're an orc now. Oh, balls. You could lay an egg. And then we could do it from the child. They would hatch into a Vara colonist. After how long? Oh, it's there. 14 days. This is getting even more screwy. Um, thank you, TK. You're you're great. Um, go go away now. Thank you. Yeah, pick it up, and then I want you to move it over here. You're gonna drop it in here. And don't worry, we can look after it. We can look after it. Everything's fine. No, 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 no. We're gonna. You, it will stay there. Don't worry. And you can uh, be on your way. Oh, this is so screwed up. Well, well, it'll be fine. The baby will be fine. We just might extract a gene or two from it. It's fine. Brent, you can go away. This, the plan didn't really work. Let's get Izel over here, and we will just test this out as well, just to see if we can just remove her gene straight away. Um, Muspelheim have invaded. Uh, where's Missy? Missy. Uh, Len. <coughs> Come here. Oh, that Mots didn't stand a chance. I'm so sorry. Are you going to kidnap and leave? No, you're not. Missy, uh, can you just do me a favor? Get that one to go berserk and then run away. Oh, really? Um. <sighs> ah, that was annoying. There. You any good? I, I guess. So we'll take you. That's fine. We'll turn this into prisoner for the time being. And then, King, you come and capture them. Uh, no. Bad. Right. Psychic shock on that one. And then psychic shock on that one. And then you're all done. Len, uh, capture that one, please. Nizel, welcome. Uh, you can capture that one. There we go. <laughs> We're done. Hang on, what? There was another one down here. No spot. Um, 18 hours. Oh, God, Missy, where are you? You're not going to get there in time. You're going to collapse. Skylar, I think it's up to you, my friend. Right, do ice block on them. 
Missy, uh, psychic shock them. Okay, nice. Cool. Right. You've done your job. Excellent. Go rescue Spot, please. Thank you. We're not doing anything suspicious with you. Don't don't worry. Uh, capture them, please. Insert Izel. Right. We want to uh, extract soul. Extract part of the soul at the cost of losing part of the body. Len as the host. Right. Here we go. Randomly extracting soul. Brent, come here. Right. I don't know if this actually extracts it completely or what but we're gonna see what happens missy is down okay she's fine she's fine brent come on you might need to help with regrow limbs worst case scenario right what do we do extracted super heat on ages strong melee bloodlust it's still there so it's not like removed gotcha okay oh she lost a jaw soul loss shock two days oh god this is horrible um i'm so sorry uh cancel that Regrow limbs. I, I'm sorry, Azel. That's not nice, is it? Yeah, that wasn't nice. Okay, so that's how it works. So, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Your tongue and jaw regrow. It's okay. Rescue, please. I guess then, King, can you... You can, can just consume it. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, bank that. Right. That's crazy. We've got a way of extracting genes. Fine. And then we can just store them in the soul altars. Oh, this is so cool. Very dark, though. I'm. Uh, I don't know whether this is, <laughs> this is something we would do, but I think Brent's desperate at this point. He wants. He's happy with his wife, but he wants her to be normal. Doesn't like disfigured now. No, she's she's fine. She's fine. Just let her stuff grow back. She'll be fine. When we get a pawn that has uh, the ability to ascend, like this one, for example, we can chuck it in there. Do that. It's a work. This will work. Visitors. Oh, it's just mots. Yeah, we need, like, someone who can ascend, and then we can do this, and this will be amazing. This will work really, really well. Oh, we can finally fix her. This is going to be great. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day there. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you like what's in, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Clint, David, Lem, Valise, Lobby Lord, TKLs, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lats, Brian, Heretic, and Fabio. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.